when the mind is trained, then this, this state of mind, this silent state of mind, you might say it goes with you everywhere you go. God goes with me everywhere I go. But when the mind is untrained, uh, you need symbols and you need to be led into that silence. And certainly that's why meditation and hermitages and things, uh, Kirsten and I have experienced quite a lot of those over the years. Mm -hmm. And they were very, very helpful, and they still are helpful, I see, very practically for mind training, because when you don't have uh, what Tara Singh called stimulation, he said, uh, the mind that's deceived and the mind that's sleeping, it's, it's addicted to stimulation. Remember, the ego made the world, it projected the, the world, it, it's, the ego invented the five senses, God didn't create the five senses. God didn't create stimulation. God didn't create drama and conflict. God really has nothing to do with any of those things. And so if you want to know God, you can tell the direction you're going to be moving in is, is, is having all that undone. And, and that is a process that will take a lot of practice and devotion. I'm not kidding you with that. It will, it will take everything that you've got uh, to, to even move in that direction because the ego is is addicted to stimulation, it invented the five senses, it uses the five senses and the veil of perception and all the projected images of linear time and space to defend against, be still, and know that I am God. It's, it's all a giant hallucination, a giant defense system against silence. So, silence is no small thing, and we're not talking about silence, it's silence uh, where your ears don't hear anything. Uh, that, you know, is not that difficult. You can just hop in your car, or take a plane, and, and go out into some place that's very, very distant and rural, and you could, you know, for maybe a few hundred dollars, you can manufacture some of uh, what seems to be silence of the ears. But this is the silence of the mind, and this type of conducive background is, is very, very helpful because once you allow yourself to go into that, you know, you do see there's mind chatter. The monkey mind will come up and it gets quite stirred up by silence. It's, it's, it's quite threatened. Mm -hmm. it, it, goes, it goes into uh, its caution mode. It goes into its fear mode and threat mode when it's, it's perceiving silence. Because silence and God are a great threat to the ego and the ego is being undone through, through the Holy Spirit.